the hidden universe in your body, a probiotics journey of survival and healing. I was born in the dark, humid environment of a yogurt container among billions of my brethren. We didn't know each other by name. There were far too many of us for such luxury, but we felt each other with every cell. Our fate remained uncertain. Some of us would perish in stomach acid, while others would find their home and become guardians of humanity. When the metal spoon plunged into our milky universe, I understood. My time had come. The world turned upside down and suddenly I was sliding down the esophagus into the unknown. The stomach greeted us with fiery acid. Many of my companions couldn't withstand this trial. But I, curling into a ball, passed through this inferno and found myself in the wondrous world of the intestines. What a spectacle unfolded before me. Endless winding corridors covered in velvety villi, like royal halls. Life flourished here. Some bacteria worked peacefully, breaking down food and producing vitamins, while others, malicious invaders, destroyed everything in their path, poisoning the organism with toxins. I immediately understood my mission. Attaching myself to the intestinal wall, I began to multiply. My offspring grew rapidly, forming fortress-like colonies. We started producing lactic acid, creating an acidic environment where harmful microbes couldn't survive. This was true chemical warfare for territory, for the right to determine human health. But the most amazing discovery awaited me ahead. I found that I could communicate with the brain. Through the vagus nerve, I sent signals upward, influencing my host's mood. When we probiotics worked in harmony, the human felt happy and energetic. It turned out that 90% of serotonin, the happiness hormone, was produced right here in our intestinal kingdom. Days turned into weeks. I observed how my host ate different foods. Vegetables and fruits brought us prebiotics, our favorite food that made us stronger. But when he consumed fast food or took antibiotics, true tragedy began. The medications didn't distinguish between friends and enemies. They killed everyone indiscriminately. After such attacks, I had to literally rebuild our community from scratch. I became witness to amazing processes. When viruses or pathogenic bacteria invaded the organism, we immediately sent an alarm signal to the immune system. Our chemical messages activated defenders. Lymphocytes and macrophages rushed to help. We were an invisible army, the first line of defense. I was especially proud of my work producing vitamins. Vitamin K for blood clotting, B-group vitamins for the nervous system, short-chain fatty acids to nourish intestinal cells. We created all of this day and night, tirelessly. One day my host fell ill. I sensed it before he did. Pathogenic microbes attacked us from all sides, but we didn't surrender. Uniting with the remnants of healthy microflora, 